Hi. Tags. Going to make some tags today. A couple of different versions, just some simple tags made from some book pages. There we go. So, hello, Sunny here, Sunny from Sunny Snaps. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And today I am doing a tag video from book pages, and I have been tagged by Cheryl from On Being Whole. That's her site, and I will. Um, I'll link it in the description down below. And this, uh, what do you call it, tag challenge, it started from Carrie at the Paper Monkey. So she started this and she tagged somebody and they do a video and do some tags and then Cheryl's doing a video and then she tagged me. So I don't actually have anyone to tag, so if you want to do a video, let me know and I'll add you as a tag. <laughs> um, this sort of thing's new to me, so I'm a bit, bit behind the eight ball and a bit lost on how it all works, but that's okay. We'll get there. Bonnie from Bonnie and Clive also has done a tag video as well, so I'll link her video down below as well if you want to uh, check what out, out what she's done. So I'm just going to wing it today, just going to jump in, make a few tags and um, off we go. Then you can take it and go with it and do, do what you like. So I've got a couple of versions here. This one here, I've um, put it all together and just made a little pocket. So you've got a little journaling card that you can pull in and out of there. So that's all stuck together. These tags here, which I haven't put a top on yet, I've left them so you can pull them open and you can do a few things. You can actually make a pocket in here and not in here if you like, but I've, I've glued them down to make them a bit stronger and then I'm just going to glue some uh, plain paper on top so you can use it as a journaling spot. Um, this one I've done double-sided, make it pretty. This one is double-sided as well, but there you go. So first of all, just put a little some bits of stuff on top of this one somebody sent me this gorgeous bits of lace and look what they've done they've wrapped it up with a little button how cute is that that's so sweet now i'm just going to un get it undone which might be easier for me to pull it out there we go but look at that how cute is that you could just use that on a page as part of a decoration that is really sweet I'm just going to use a bit of lace at the top. Now, when you've got an opening, you don't want to put your two pages together. And this one, I'm just going to do really quickly and put a um, little bit of lace on the top, one on each side, because you don't want—I don't want to shut it, obviously. So there we go. I'm just going to staple it. I'm just going to do it quickly because. Stapling's nice and quick. Some people like stapling, some people don't. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. You do it your way. And the lace, this lace is very gentle. There we go. Staple that on there. When I do staples, I'll often grab a pair of pliers and squish them just to make them flatter so you don't have those bumpy bits. There we go, so they're nice and flat now. So there we go, the little tabs on both sides, one's longer than the other, so when it sits in your pocket or whatever you do in your journal, uh, you could actually do these as a card for someone for a birthday and write your little birthday sentiments inside and then they've got a bookmark they can use. That would be really cute actually. And um, so I've put that at two different levels. So when it's sitting, I would just put it in a pocket in a journal probably or a belly band and your two little bits of lace stick up. And then you can just open it up to read your journaling in there. And this one here, I'll do slightly different. We'll punch a hole in this one. Just got a hole punch here. And I've got a flower on this side. So where am I going to put my hole? That's a good question. Actually, you don't really need to put a you don't really need to put a ribbon on both sides, do you? So we might just leave that one as it is. 
chop this piece of ribbon off. Oh, lacy stuff. Sorry, it's stretchy too. Quite nice. Feels really good. Just put this through here. And this one I'm just going to tie it in a knot. I like, I really like that look on the tops of tags. I think it's really sweet. You can do it in a double knot so it doesn't come undone. Or you can do it in a single knot. I figure because they're tags in a journal, people are not going to be fiddling with them all the time. So I just leave it in a single knot. I think that's fine. That one looks really cute. This is my blue one. And I've got blue stuff today to play with today. So that one's all stuck together because it's um, a pocket. So all you need is some book pages. I've got a book page here. This one's a fairly newer book. Uh, it's a little bit shiny-ish, but not fully shiny. I don't like using fully shiny stuff a lot because it doesn't always glue the best. So all I do is fold it in half that way. Open it back up. Fold it in half again here. So you're folding it into the middle. and then you've got your tag shape. Simple. Then we just use, I've got a little template here, which is just a piece of cardboard. And I've cut uh, two 45 degree angles at the top, one slightly bigger than the other. You just sit your template on there and cut that like that. And sit that one on there and cut that like that. And you can make as many templates as you want. It's just handy to have them sitting beside your desk. It makes it a bit quicker. Some people will chop one corner and then um, chop the other, take that corner, hold it over there and chop the other corner, but I find that a bit fiddling. I'm just going to put a pole straight through both sections of this one. And I'm just going to glue these insides down. I'm just going to use a PVA glue. This is a, um, what is it, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. And once it's empty, you can actually fill it with whatever glue you want. You just uh, take this cap off and fill it up. So I've just got a standard PVA glue in there. Just going to smoosh this out to the sides. So make sure you get the edges. So your edges glue down nicely. Just grab my little cloth here. Always just have a cloth beside you to clean up your mess. Glue this side down. So I'll just make a few bases first and then we'll do some decorating. So there we go. Simple as that. And you have a little opening tag. So I also have an older book page. And I wouldn't use really old book pages for this because they might be a bit brittle. And then they'll um when you fold them, they just break and they won't they won't hold together. I don't mind using book pages like this that are a little bit older because they um, they'll hold their strength and when uh, when you glue it together it makes the edge pages stronger anyway and if you're worried about your uh, join breaking you can just put a little bit of washi tape or something over the top of it so that's as simple as that is just gonna glue that down and I should have um Oh, you can cut the tag shape first so you can tuck it, cut it last, doesn't really matter. Just doing these really quickly. This is something you can um, be really easy to mass make. You can just grab a, a, a heap of book pages and just mass make the, the bases and then go through and decorate them whenever you want. So you could make a whole ton of them. It'd be really simple. Find my template there, cut my corners off. There we go. There's two. See how simple and quick that is? I'm going to put this this punch I got from Amazon and it's got the slot. So that's really good for putting thicker ribbons and things through the tops of your tags when you want to do that. Your holes better for your smaller stuff and strings and things like that. Now I've also got here some painted book pages. So this is a really old book page. So I probably wouldn't use this, but I'm just going to fold it and just see. Because I've painted it, actually, that's going to hold up pretty well. 
because the paint adds a bit of strength to the page. So I will use that. That'll work fine. So all I did on the other side of this was really roughly ran a paintbrush over it with some acrylic paint. And that's a very simple way to decorate a book page that you can then use for something in your journal. So we'll glue that one together. I'll just make four little pages up. And this one I'll make into a uh, pocket tag. Just glue that one. And you can make these as simple or as elaborate as you like. It's up to you, obviously. And same with any art and craft. You do you. You do what makes you happy. But I really love these as a simple thing to make. Um, I have a few bits and pieces on my desk here that will do some decorations with. Um, but you can decorate them as elaborately or as simple as you like, like I just said. And I'm just repeating myself. That's awesome, isn't it? So this one, I'm going to glue the top bit. And then just run one bead of glue along the bottom there. Attach that down. And that's going to be quite messy. I love quite a bit of glue on there. That's okay. There we go. So now we have, well, I won't pull that apart yet, but you've got a nice little pocket in there to put your little pocket piece in. Then obviously you need to make your little pocket pieces. I'll just make one more like that. I'm going to use this shinier book page for that. And I just, when they're a book page, you can just tear them down the center quite easily. And then if you put that at the top, after you cut your corners off, if you don't like that rough edge, you can just trim that rough edge off. So fold it in half, fold it back together. And of course, depending on the size of your book page, will be the size of tag that you end up with so these are this is quite a smaller book page so it's a smaller size tag that one's slightly bigger and then this one's bigger again so it depends what book page you've got now if you've got a really big book page and you don't want your tag that big just cut your book page down first and then you'll um have Have whatever size tag you want this would yeah this is a really good project to mass make so simple but it can add such good decoration and a lovely journaling spot to your um, project and I'm just gluing this one first for the pocket and then I'll cut the corners off. So it doesn't really matter which order you do it in. Just um, if you do your gluing first before you cut your corners, you may get a bit of glue on your scissors. But it won't be much. It'll only be a little bit. Turn the template over. There we go. Now, I'm, I haven't made a video for about nearly two weeks, I think. I'm, I am putting one up today on jelly printing. There we go. There's that pocket. I am putting one up today that's jelly printing, but I actually did the video a couple of weeks ago. I've been sick with a seriously really sore throat, so I haven't been able to talk a lot. So today, my voice, I can tell already, my voice is starting to get a bit croaky, so please bear with me. Um, I'm just going to get this done quickly. Uh, over here I have some pages that I've jelly printed before and I'm just going to use those to do some quick decorating. And what I want to do, I didn't bring any, let me just have a look at this paper here. Aha, this one here. So, so I just need to make the little inserts that go in there. So you can easily journal on the back of this. This has got a a bit of light painting on it from when I was jelly printing which is fine because you can journal on that and I am just going to fold this in half and 
I'm not big for getting out and measuring stuff, which is quite funny because I'm a trained drafts person, so sometimes measuring is my thing, but I'm just going to make that slightly wider than my tags, so my tags end, so it's just going to poke out a little bit. And then the pocket goes from here to here. So you just want it a little bit shorter than that. So I'm just going to eyeball that and trim this page down. On, let's do it on that line. Uh -huh. So all I'm doing is laying that on my grid sheet, finding my knife. And you can use any blade. Um, I've got a whole myriad of these. I've been using them for donkey's ages, so I um, collect them. I have them everywhere. Or you can use a cutter if you've got a cutter. So that fits just perfect in there. And that's probably going to be a good enough size for this one as well. No, we want a longer one in there. That's a bit short for that one. So I'm just going to trim this down to the edge here there we go so this is a cute little journaling spot and I'm just going to put that in that little pocket there and that sticks out a little bit so it's easy enough to grab out and then you can do some journaling on there and hide it away again there you go and then we'll put a hole in the top let's put a hole in this one There we go, and we'll get some blue ribbon, got some pretty blue ribbon here. Like I said, I'm just doing these very quickly. And I'm going to sort of, um, I might do this one in a proper full knot. Let's do that in a double knot. And if you don't want the end of your ribbons to fray, you can... Um, just sear them with a uh, lighter or something. I don't have one nearby, so I'm not going to do that right now. I have this jelly printed paper here. So I quite like doing things quickly and easily. So we're just going to tear. And I don't need this to be accurate. I just, um, it's going to be sort of a background to decorate this tag so we'll just hold our ruler down tear that off and end up with a mess here which is fine tear that one off we'll glue this one on here just doing some really quick decorations and you can uh, decorate however you like I love having these bits of jelly printed paper because they give you a really nice background. Lots of texture and detail in them. Now I have some scraps of material here. This one's pretty bright. But it will go quite nicely with that blue. So did I go with the blue theme today. Two pieces. So with material, a lot of materials you can generally just put a snip, I keep forgetting I've got to go in front of it, and then tear it, that gives you a rough edge, which is really neat. I always, when I do my fabric, I use a fabric glue. I find it works best. You use whatever glue you want to use, so this looks like a kind of a PVA style uh, fabric glue yep. get the top on there otherwise they dry out and then i've also got some little bunny stickers here which i thought would be really sweet um sort of bluish see if there's a blue they might be a bit wide i have to go with those flowers they like the flowers. Some of them are a bit wide. Now, getting stickers off when you're on camera. It's always fun. 
sometimes I've found with the stickers that um, if you're having trouble getting them off put a piece of tape on it on one side and pull it and that seems to get it off I don't know if to work with all of them but I find that works quite well so I'm just going to put a little word on there what word do we got so these are my little baggie of words which is probably going to um, be glossy on the camera so these are all sorts of words some of them are stamped some of them are printed on printer some of them are cut out of magazines and let's just put the original on there this is going to be quick I just keep them in a little ziplock bag Makes them nice and handy, easy to go through them, easy to see what's in your bag. I found with a lot of my craft supplies, um, I like to have everything in see-through containers so that I can see what's in there. Well, pretty much everything in my house these days now is in, in some sort of see-through container. So you can see what's in there and it protects it from the dust and dirt. So that's just one side decorated you can decorate the other side or if you wanted to you could actually just stick that in a journal on the back and then you can use this as a little pull out journal spot so you could glue that onto straight onto a page i'm just going to do the one side on all of these for the time being don't want the video to go forever my throat's going to get upset with me so where's that blue Ah, uh, blue lace. I've got a blue, there's a blue lace here. No, I might use this material. Some more material scraps. I do a lot of quilting and other sort of crafty stuff. So I have lots of material scraps. And I'm like, wow, this junk journaling stuff's a really good way to use those scraps up. Just cutting a strip here. Put it on. Going to staple that on there. Now you can glue it on there, you can um, sew it on there, you can um, sometimes I'll just hand sew with a needle and hand sew the uh, tag on and then put a little bow at the front and that looks really cute as well. So I've also got some shapes here that I've printed. So they're, they're from my jelly prints. And I don't think there's enough contrast there with that. Some shapes I cut out from the jelly prints. Oh, that one's cute. I like that one. I like it hanging off the side a bit. And if I was going to hang this one off the side, which I do like, I think I'd stick this one onto a journal page and just have it as a pocket. Um, what else are we going to put on there? I kind of like it simple, actually. What word do we want to put on there? Serenity. Oh, that's cute. I need to ink the edge of that one. It's a little dauber. Ink the edge up. Inking the edge just frames it. Makes it stand out a bit better off the background. Yep, let's just keep that really simple. Use this one. Put a bit of glue around. Glue that on there. Find my gluey mess off. Put this little tag on here. I'm not very good at putting lots and lots of layers on, although I am doing it a bit more because I am finding it quite fun. I'm usually generally a pretty simple decorator, and that to me is, is just fine, does what I want it to do. And you wouldn't don't even have to decorate the back because you've got that paint, pretty painted uh, pattern on there, so you don't really need to do anything with that. Now I'm just looking at my scraps that I've got here. If I fold this over so it just sticks out a little bit. And this paper's got writing on the back that you don't want to see. 
I just needed to shorten this up a little bit. I will just tear that out. That fit in there. Nope, they're a bit long, so we'll tear the other side off. So both edges are torn then. There we go. Check that it fits. Yep. Nope, nope, still a little bit tall. Let's put it down a little bit more. I want to make it easy to get in and out. I've got this doubled over because this has got ugly on the inside. I'm going to glue this together. Just smoosh down the edges with thinner paper. When you glue, you're better off smooshing your glue a bit so that it um, doesn't... Sometimes it can leave lines on the side then. So you can still see through there, but I'm not too worried about that. You can use this as a journal card then. It fits in there. And if you want to, you can put a little tab on the top. I've got this little printed out cut out shape. If I just fold that in half, like so, glue this on here. Tuck that under there, do that down there. Now that's just a little, it's an actually a little tag shape. And all I've done is fold that over and then I can use it as a tab. It looks cute on one side, straight on the other side. That's okay. There we go. And there's your little journaling piece. And what you could do to make it match a bit more if you wanted to is run a blue edge around there. Which I do actually have. Oh, I don't have my dauber handy. Let's see. This has got brown on it, this dauber. So I'm just going to scrub a lot of that brown off on some waste paper because I don't have the rest of my daubers handy at the moment. So this is actually going blue-green. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know where the greens come from. Maybe the greens coming out of the brown. There we go. So just going around the edges. Do it on both sides. Got a little bit of paint on there, but you've got a black pen. You can write over that. Just add a little bit of interest to your piece of paper. Cute little journaling spot. And if you want to just rub some light dauber over the top. There we go. And stick that one in there. There we go. Pretty. That's that one. Just leave these both here. So that's we've made two now. This one is one of my pull open ones. So I want this as journaling space. So I'm just going to use some of this scrap paper. And I will use this painted piece as well. Because like I said, if you've got a black pen, you can easily write over the paint. Just do a bit of edging around it. I'll go back to my brown. Just um, contrast with the blue. Blue and brown goes together nicely. I'm just doing that really roughly gives you a um, better edge because I've because I'm inking this I'll ink the edges of my tag as well just fold your tag back and ink your fold And in keeping with the rest of the tag, we'll do the the front and the back as well. I'm doing this really roughly. Sometimes that really rough. You I mean, you got you don't want an accurate look anyway. You, you when you're doing inking, you want it to do sort of frame your edge, make it look a bit old. So you don't want it to be neat and tidy. There we go. 
hopefully some of these on the inside. Glue the other side down. Make sure you put the glue on the back, not the front, what I was about to do. Smash that one a bit. Now that printing on the other side of that paper, I can actually still see some of that through there, but I don't mind. It adds a bit of character. And once you write your notes, whatever notes you want to put on there, you won't see that anyway. So what are we going to decorate the front of this with? I like this bit of jelly printing. It's got a really good pattern. So let's just tear this one. And I'm going to ink the edges a little bit again. I'm going to leave those rough bits on there. Um, smoosh the glue in a bit. That way when you smoosh it, I can just tab a little bit on those edgy bits. So some of them will stick down. There we go. What else are we going to put on there? Mm, let's see. What do we have? A bit of material. No, I don't like that one. How about this bright one? Oh, some of that could do. Let's cut a little piece of this off. Do another torn edge. And then what I can do is I've got these strappy bits here. I can use them for the tie at the top. Again. Because this one's an opening one, I'm going to put the, the tie in each side. And just for being speedy, I'm going to staple that on. You can do them however you want to do them. There we go. So cute. And that matches, where'd my little piece go? Here it is. Fabric glue. I tend to dot the fabric glue on because I find it doesn't like spread in a line very easily. Well, not this fabric glue anyway. I might have one that's better, but it sort of just sits on top of the material. So I just dot that on. Press it down. There we go. Now, words. Enjoy. I'll be cute there. Beautiful, beautiful days we got today. And the, the weather's finally, we've had a really hot summer the, here in Australia. So the weather's finally starting to cool down, which is lovely. Next week I'm going down to see my daughter, so I'm going to be away for a week. So, but this video is going to get put up sometime midweek anyway. So, mm, don't really want to wrap it there, do we? What else do we have that we can put on there? Ba -bum. Um, needs something here, doesn't it? Bit of music paper. Get some music paper. Let's just. Shuzzy that up with some inking. Bit of music paper. Always comes in handy. And then I need something here. So what I might do is tear off some of this more jelly printed paper. So I have a butterfly here and this turquoise Stampin' Up Tempting Turquoise pad. I used to have a lot of st stamping up stuff so I've still got a lot in my stash. It's not sure how dark that's, no that's not even showing see. That's no good. That's no good. Let's do it in brown see what happens 
I don't like this stamp pad much for stamping. It's great for inking edges, but nope, that doesn't want to show up either. It's all blending in. So mm, we need some lighter paper. What have we got here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not liking that. Have a star. Here we go. There's a jelly printed star, but doesn't show up very well on that background. Mm. Okay, so what I might do is another piece of book page. Put some edging around that. Glue that on there. Like that. And then glue my star on. That way my star will stand out a bit. And see, you don't even end up seeing much of that pretty background that I had on there. But it just adds that little touch to the edges. There we go. Now I'll just turn that over and press it down. That way you can rub it nicely and you're not going to rip up the edges or anything. That's a little thing I do quite regularly. So there we go. There's our opening journal page tag. Our tag with a pocket. Journaling space. And put that in this side. It's a bit easier. And another tag with a little journaling space. Done two different ways. So that's got your little fold out one. This one's just a double sided one. So you can see, you can do, that's just three ideas. And you, there would be hundreds, literally hundreds of ways you could do these sorts of tags. And they're very easy to do. So you can sit there and mass make. So you can fold all your book pages, then glue all your book pages, and then go fun decorating. There we go. So go and check out Cheryl's video on being whole and Bonnie's video for, from Bonnie and Clive and Carrie's video from the Paper Monkey. Um, hashtag tag your turn. And here we go, making some tags. Lots of fun today. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.